The History of Galileo. Starring Galileo Galilee. Baby Galileo. Galileo's mom. Galileo's student. Chopper One. The Church Authority. The Pope. The Jury. And the Soldier. Now for Galileo's life. Galileo was born in 1564 in Pisa. And died in 1642. He was blind then. Galileo was schooled at a monastery near Florence, but later studied medicine at Pisa. He abandoned that for a mathematics degree. In 1589, he was the mathematics chairman at Pisa University. In 1592, he was the chair of mathematics at the University of Padua. Teaching wasn't doing enough to support the family, so he took to doing other things like tutoring students on the side. In 1609, he took up to making telescopes. Ooh. Hey, check that out. Oh, man. He sold his telescopes at spectacle maker shops. Oh, wow, look at this telescope, man. Dude, I know, right? Oh, wow, can I look? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Oh, I'm getting this, man. All right. Here, let me just give you my... Uh... Did you take a uh, credit? <laughs> well, let's see here. Oh, let's thank type you. in your pin. Okay. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Approved. Thank you for your telescope, sir. Oh, no problem. I'll be going. Have fun. Galileo made important discoveries in astronomy. Oh, wow, a discovery. Wow. Galileo shared his discoveries with other scientists. So, uh, let me hear about your discoveries you made. Dude, dude, right up there, that's the sun. Okay. And, uh, it, we move around it. Really? But I thought the Earth was the center of the universe. Heliocentrism, man. Right, right up there. Yeah. <laughs> right up there? Oh, well, let me see this. Let me see this diagram. Wow. Yeah, right up there. You should talk to lots of scientists about this. It's, it's a revolution. Wow. Galileo went to Rome and tried to persuade the church authorities into believing his views on heliocentrism. Dude, hey, check this out. No, that this can't be right. The, in the Bible, clearly states that this is not true. Uh, come on, just your give ideas, it a shot. they're gonna get banned. What? Hey, Pope, will you uh, publish my book on heliocentrism? Well, I'm only gonna let you publish this as long as you show views on both sides of heliocentrism. And you include my own views, otherwise I won't let you publish this. Okay. Goodbye. Later, dude. Galileo was tried for heresy. Okay, Galileo, we hear you've published this book and we're not too happy about it. So we've decided that you have to take back heliocentrism. And you're going to be imprisoned, but that might turn into house arrest. And your book is also going to be banned. This book right here, this one, it's going to be banned. See, because we don't, we don't follow heliocentrism. So you're banned, and you're going to be imprisoned, and you have to take it back. Does the jury agree? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Galileo was arrested, but that later turned into house arrest. I'm taking you away, Galileo. You're going to prison. Me? Yeah, you could get up. Come on. All right. We're taking you to prison, Galileo. Hey, hey, that's a rough. No, well, we don't want to make sure you get away with your heliocentric ideas. But it's the truth. You know what? I don't want to hear it, Galileo. You're going to jail. Jail? Jail. 
Galileo's arrest did indeed turn into house arrest, at which point he just spent the rest of his life chilling at home, reading his studies, writing his books. These books were the basis of why he is called the father of modern physics. Eventually, he went blind. Had to use his hands to feel around for everything. Then, uh, one day he went to sleep. And never woke up. <laughs>